In this video, we will take a look at adding with radical expressions. In the past, we've seen problems like 2x minus 5y plus 3x plus 2y. When we had problems like this, we would say the 2x and 3x were like terms, giving us 5x. We also see that the negative 5y and the positive 2y are like terms, giving us negative 3y, and we would have our final solution. We can follow a very similar pattern when the x's are all replaced with the square root of 3, and the y's are all replaced with the square root of 7. Since each variable represents a number, we should be able to do this problem the same way we did the previous, which was to say the square roots of 3 are like radicals. Adding the numbers in front, we would have 5 of these square roots of 3. Notice the part that's a square root of 3 did not change. Similar to how when we combine the x's, those did not change. We simply are adding the number in front of the radical. Similarly, negative 5 root 7 plus 2 root 7 gives us negative 3 of these root 7's. This becomes our final simplified answer. In summary, when adding and subtracting radicals, we can combine like radicals. Let's try some examples where we have to do just this, find like radicals and combine them. In this problem, the first term has a square root of 6 on it. Notice the last term also has a square root of 6 on it. We can combine those like radicals, negative 4 and negative 5 is negative 9 of these root 6's. And similarly, 2 root 11 plus root 11, which we'll assume has a 1 in front, means we now have 3 square roots of 11. This expression is now simplified. We cannot combine the radicals together because they are not like radicals. Let's try one more example, this one with higher roots. In this problem, we've got 5 underneath every root. However, they are not like radicals because the first root is a cubed root of 5. It's going to be like the other cubed root of 5. 1 minus 8 gives us negative 7 of these cubed roots of 5. The other roots are different, they're square roots. But they are like each other, 2 and 3 gives us 5 of these square roots of 5. As we have seen, radicals that match can be combined just like combining like terms by adding the coefficients in front of the radicals.